All right, how's it going, guys? I have a a little change here uh, type of video. It is basically it's a Dokkan tutorial. So with the newest Dokkan update, uh, they introduced the Scout feature, which like basically just got introduced on the JP version, like last update. Um, and that basically allows you to have a, a QR code like this one here, and like newer players that are under rank 100 or people that are on their comeback campaign, which is like people that haven't played in a while, uh, they scan it, and there are 15 missions that the person who scanned it, uh, to, they can do, and it gives not only the person who gave you the code, but the person who scanned it, you get stones for that too. But the catch is, the main catch was like the level thing. You have to be under level 100, which, you know, if you play the game before, you level up really quick. Um, and so that was an issue. And the person who has the QR code, it's not the 15. There's 15 missions for the scanner, but the person who has the code has to have 50 done to get all 50 stones. So that means at least four different people have to scan the code, your one code. Um, so it's kind of an issue because there's everywhere on Twitter and everywhere where, you know, you could possibly put your code for someone to scan or it's just flooded. Every single Dokkan YouTuber, Truth, Goresh, Kawhi, Ningen, all of them. Their threads are just getting absolutely flooded with scouts. But Kawhi, who is a a French Dokkan creator, I don't know if he created this, but it is a a program that basically farms accounts. Well, not farms accounts, but it makes eight different accounts to farm your scout thing for you. And it's literally, it's not like botting it. It's weird because like, this has n almost no tie tie into your main account. It, the eight different accounts are the only ones that are probably just going to get banned because they're not ever going to get used again. But so basically what you do is first on your phone, uh, you launch Dokkan, go to the main screen, and then there is a tab on the home screen now called Dokkan Scout. You click it, you click Start Scouting, and then you take a screenshot of that code. And what I did is I just sent it to some stupid bot on Discord and then saved it to my computer. Um, and so when you open up the, the Scout, I already have one right now, so I don't know if I can really show it. But it's in French, and there's three options. There's press 1 to have a screenshot of your QR code. Press 2 if you have a, uh, a cropped QR code. Or press 3 to have a URL of your QR code. I tried a couple times with 1 and 2, and it just kept giving me the same... It just kept, like, rebooting itself. I, nobody else that I read on here had that problem, but I did. Um, so you guys can try it. But what I did is I just got this decoder, and I put my cropped one in here, and it gave me the link. And I went to the thing. I got it running right now. But when I put... Oh, I, can, I can probably show you, actually. Yeah, this it's all, it's all in French, and you can't really, really read that. But at first, you put it in there, and it uh, it's going to start opening... Uh, captchas that you have to that you have to confirm. You have to do it eight different times for the eight different accounts. It'll open it. You do it. Press enter. Close out of it. Go back. Press enter on the thing, and you do that eight times. And then it'll come to this step, and it will literally just do all the all the missions for you. Um, there's it's really that simple. Uh, it just runs through it. It says it takes about twenty minutes. So I, I've been here for about ten minutes. So it's a little bit more than halfway. Well, yeah, it's three-fourths of the way done, but, yeah, I just figured I'd, you know, put this out here. I haven't posted in a while, I know. I'm really into Dokkan anymore, especially with 7th Anniversary coming up in, like, a week. Uh, it's really hype, and any stones you can get now, I, it's very helpful. So, uh, yep, uh, that'll do it. Good luck scouting.